A passerby found him, his small body twisted and broken. His breath was shallow, his fur matted with blood. Most people would have turned away, thinking there was no hope for a stray like Mikey, but a group of volunteers, known for their work with street animals, refused to look the other way. They rushed Mikey to the nearest vet. When they arrived, the vet took one look and sighed. It would be kinder to put him down, the vet said softly. His injuries are severe. His back is broken and his legs are shattered. He's in pain. The volunteers stared at Mikey, his chest rising and falling in shallow breaths. But despite his condition, his eyes were open, wide and filled with a flicker of something. Not fear, not surrender, but a will to fight. He wanted to live. They could see it. They could feel it. One of the volunteers, a woman named Sarah, stepped forward. No, she said, her voice steady despite the tremor in her hands. Mikey wants to live. We can't give up on him. We have to try. The vet hesitated, but seeing the determination in their eyes, he agreed. It won't be easy, he warned. Even if we save him, he may never walk again. We'll find a way, Sarah whispered, her eyes locked on Mikey's. We won't give up on you. And so began the long, painful journey to save Mikey's life. The surgeries were grueling, one to repair his shattered spine, another to reconstruct his legs. Every moment was tense, every decision weighted with the fear that they might be doing too much, pushing him too far. There were nights when Mikey's body would tremble with pain, and Sarah would sit beside him, gently stroking his head, whispering words of encouragement. You're a fighter, Mikey. You've got this. Weeks passed, and Mikey's spirit remained unbroken, even when his body was fragile. The volunteers watched in awe as he slowly began to recover. His legs, though weak, twitched with the effort of movement. Each small step was a victory, each flicker of his tail a testament to his will to survive. Then, one morning, something extraordinary happened. Sarah walked into the recovery room, her usual bundle of nerves and hope, when she saw Mikey standing shakily on all four legs. His body was thin, his movements slow, but he was standing. He looked up at her, his eyes as bright as they had been that night in the vet's office, as if to say, I told you I wasn't done yet. If you liked the video, put like and subscribe to the channel where you will find a lot of interesting things.